This talk is titled Anomaly Handling in Lyapunov-Based Economic Model Predictive Control via Empirical Models. This describes work performed by Helen Durand in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Materials Science at Wayne State University. This work is related to the advancement of autonomous systems. For autonomous cyber-physical systems, such as those involving autonomous vehicles, robotics, or chemical processes, data-driven techniques are of interest. Data-driven components of controllers allow these systems to adapt to changing environments. However, with greater levels of autonomy, there come increasing concerns regarding verification of the resulting systems, particularly as the data-driven components learn and change over time. Runtime verification of safety is therefore critical to safe operation of processes. A number of concepts for safety verification have been put forward, including the use of barrier functions and reachability analysis. Safe reinforcement learning has also been explored for attempting to learn safely. Controllers with stability guarantees augmented with learning-enabled components may be a step towards runtime safety assurance. One way that controllers can incorporate learning is through model-based control frameworks that use data-driven models that can account for changing process dynamics over time. Then, updates to the dynamic model are used in the controller. This talk will focus on considerations related to an advanced model-based control framework known as Lyapunov-Based Economic Model Predictive Control, or LEMPC. This controller can incorporate data-driven models with closed-loop stability guarantees when the plant model mismatch is sufficiently low. To look at how it might be utilized to verify safety of a system over time as the underlying process dynamics change, which is expected to result in changes to the empirical model over time, appropriate constraints and methods for triggering data-driven model updates in a manner that promotes safety at all times will be discussed. We consider in this work two systems. One, shown here, describes the dynamics of the nonlinear system, which represents the actual process. We consider that the states, inputs, and disturbances for this process are bounded, and also that the system is stabilizable in the sense that there exists an explicit stabilizing control law HI of X, that renders the origin or steady state of the system without disturbances asymptotically stable in the sense that there exists a Lyapunov function VI which decreases along the closed loop state trajectories under HI for all states in a neighborhood DI of the origin. We define omega rho I as a level set of VI within DI and where the state constraints are met. The second set of systems we consider are those describing the empirical or data-driven models that will be used by the controller, which are characterized here. The nonlinear empirical system is also considered to be stabilizable in the sense that there exists an explicit stabilizing control law, HNLQ, for the Qth data-driven model that renders the origin or steady state of the empirical system asymptotically stable, such that there exists a Lyapunov function V hat Q which decreases along the closed loop trajectories of the empirical system under HNLQ for all states in a neighborhood DNLQ of the origin of the empirical model. We define a region omega rho hat safe Q within DNLQ as a level set of V hat Q in DNLQ where the state constraints are met. We also define a subset omega rho hat Q of this region omega rho hat safe Q. With these models defined, we can now present the general formulation of Economic Model Predictive Control, or EMPC, that forms the basis for the work we will be presenting. A general formulation of EMPC utilizing a data-driven model is shown on the left. This is an optimization-based control design where optimal inputs are computed for a process that minimize an objective function with a general and potentially economics-based stage cost, subject to constraints including the empirical model, state feedback measurement, and input and state constraints. For EMPC to function properly, in general, it would be expected that the empirical model needs to provide sufficiently accurate state predictions. With additional constraints, closed-loop stability results for EMPC with certain classes of empirical models have been developed. These additional constraints are specifically constraints based on Lyapunov functions, leading to a formulation of EMPC known as Lyapunov-based EMPC or LEMPC. This is a two-mode control formulation, which resembles the general EMPC formulation on the prior slide, but has Lyapunov-based stability constraints in addition. The mode one constraint is highlighted here in red, and it requires that the state predictions be maintained with an omega rho hat E1. Under sufficient conditions, this constraint guarantees that the closed-loop state is maintained in omega rho hat 1. 
This mode one formulation of LEMPC is always feasible. The explicit stabilizing early Apinoff based controller HNL1 implemented in sample and hold is a feasible solution at every sampling time. This formulation also has a level of robustness to disturbances or plant model mismatch. The second mode of operation of LEMPC is shown on this slide with the mode two constraint or contractive constraint highlighted in blue. This constraint forces the LEMPC to compute control actions that decrease the Lyapunov function and could decrease it to a neighborhood of the steady state. The prior work described guarantees for LEMPC that with a data-driven model, closed-up stability and recursive feasibility can be obtained. Here, to consider anomaly handling for LEMPC with safety guarantees in the case that the underlying process dynamics can change, making the empirical model also change, we allow the empirical model used in the LEMPC to be updated over time. We still include the economic cost function, state and input constraints, and Lyapunov based stability constraints, but these latter constraints can also be updated over time related to stabilizing the updated empirical models. We know that the closed loop stability and feasibility guarantees obtained in the case that the model is not updated rely on the accuracy of the empirical model. Changes in the underlying process dynamics may warrant online model updates, but also could lead to more significant plant model mismatch at certain points in time, with the potential that the closed loop state could leave the stability region. Therefore, to handle the underlying dynamics changes, the LEMPC for anomaly handling is designed to maintain the closed loop state in omega rho hat Q, which is a subset of omega rho hat safe Q. This ensures that when the closed loop state at X of TK leaves omega rho hat Q due to a process dynamics change, there is still time before it leaves omega rho hat safe Q. This aids with anomaly handling by giving a characterizable region that we can be sure that the closed loop state does not exit for some amount of time after we first detect that the process dynamics have changed by noting that the closed loop state has left omega rho hat Q. This leads to the following implementation strategy. The system is operated under LEMPC until X of TK is no longer within omega rho hat Q. At that point, it is detected that the plant model mismatch has become large enough to potentially compromise stability. In addition, this detection mechanism of seeing that X of TK has left omega rho hat Q is used to indicate that there has been a change in the process dynamics so that it is known that it is time to use the new data for model re-identification. After the closed loop state leaves omega rho hat Q, the LEMPC is no longer guaranteed to be feasible, and so the backup controller, HNLQ, begins to be implemented in sample and hold while data is being collected for model updating. When the model is updated, a new backup controller, HNLQ plus one, is designed with respect to the new model, and the stability region is also updated to omega rho hat Q plus one for the new model. Then, the controller being used is switched to omega rho hat Q plus one in sample and hold if X of TK is not in omega rho hat Q plus one after the model update. After the closed loop state enters omega rho hat Q plus one, an updated LEMPC is utilized to control the process with the new dynamic model and new stability region and Lyapunov based stability constraints. In summary, this strategy allows closed loop stability and feasibility guarantees to be made even in the presence of underlying dynamics changes leading to model updates. Specifically, the state will remain in omega rho hat Q under normal operation. As plant model mismatch increases, the state will leave omega rho hat Q, but not omega rho hat safe Q. The state will then return to omega rho hat Q plus one under this updated stabilizing controller HNLQ plus one. These guarantees require sufficient conditions, such as sufficiently small plant model mismatch and a sufficiently small sampling period. These theoretical conditions 
also suggest that repeated assessment of whether these conditions hold as the model changes over time could promote control theory-based runtime safety verification using Lyapunov-based EMPC. An interesting additional consideration for the anomaly handling strategy is its resilience to cyber attacks. Specifically, the anomaly handling procedure uses process data to update the empirical model. Because it is using process data, there's a potential that cyber attacks, which result in incorrect models being identified, could occur if false sensor measurements are provided to the model update and control algorithm. In order to force a false model to be identified, it is possible that an attacker could consider triggering re-identification of the model by giving a state measurement that is outside omega rho hat q, or an attacker could wait until the underlying process dynamics change, which triggers a model re-identification procedure, and at that point the attacker might choose to provide false data to try to get the updated model to then be one that is not correct. This indicates that it is desirable to develop methods that prevent the model from being updated using false data. This requires the cyber attack to be able to be detected, but it can be difficult to distinguish a cyber attack from changes in the process dynamics, since both are indicated by sensor data. This indicates that future work regarding the resilience of control algorithms with runtime safety verification in response to data-driven model updates may be beneficial. To give a bit more context to these considerations, we here present the chemical process example once again of the continuous stirred tank reactor. Here, we note that inaccurate process models could lead to closed loop stability issues, but might not. So for example, with this continuous stirred tank reactor, we looked at a case where at 0.05 hours, there are no actual changes to the underlying process dynamics, but at that time, false state measurements begin to be provided until 0.09 hours that suggest that there are different underlying process dynamics and where the fake process dynamics show the closed loop state going outside of the region omega rho. This triggers the model re-identification procedure and triggers the development of a new controller, HNL Q plus 1. When this is used after the attacks are taken offline and the model is updated at 0.1 hours, this new HNL Q plus 1, even though it does not 100% correspond to the HNL that should be being used if the full underlying process dynamics were known, this controller is still able to drive the closed loop state to lower level sets of V hat 1. In conclusion, runtime verification of safety is important for autonomous systems which evolve over time to handle changing process dynamics. Controllers using data-driven model updates with stability guarantees may aid in providing runtime safety verification. A Lyapunov-based EMPC was looked at in this context in this talk. Potential future work includes looking at cyber attack resilience of model update strategies when data-driven modeling is being used, and also looking at the ease of performing the verification for the proposed LEMPC type strategy for examining safety guarantees online. We would like to thank the National Science Foundation, the Air Force Office of Scientific Research, and Wayne State University for their financial support. Thank you.